changed. When the Steelers play the Browns on Thursday night, they're going to beat them 20 to 17. The reason why I've got the Steelers beating the Browns is because right now they're just playing better football. The Steelers have won five out of the last six games after an 0-3 start. So the Steelers are on a positive trajectory and the Browns are on a negative decline. The Steelers have been playing very well despite missing their star quarterback Ben Roethlisberger who's out for the season with that elbow injury. The offense is doing just enough to win. They're scoring enough points to come out on top. Their defense is playing tough, fast, smash mouth football. They are stifling offenses. They're making it very difficult. So that combination of the Steelers offense and their defense will neutralize the Cleveland Browns. On offense, the Steelers are gonna control the clock by running the ball. They're gonna be judicious with the ball. They're not gonna turn it over so there'll be no fumbles or interceptions. They're gonna just try to negate all of that because they know that they have a very slim margin for error. So Rudolph is gonna take care of that football. Connor, he's gonna come back from that shoulder injury. He's gonna run all over that Cleveland Browns defense. They won't be able to stop them. So the Steelers are gonna ground and pound the Browns. And then when the Browns try to bring in an eighth or ninth defender in the box to try to stop James Conner, Rudolph will exploit that and throw over the top of that defense for big yardage. So Rudolph will probably throw for, I'd say about 300 yards. It's a rivalry game, so he knows he's gonna have to bring his A game. So he's gonna throw for a lot of yards. He might have a touchdown or two. And then when James Conner, like I said, he's gonna run wild all over that defense. He might get a touchdown. And that's the formula for winning on offense. And as we know, the Steelers defense is elite. They're fast, they're physical, they got great defenders. Mickey Fitzpatrick, wow. He's proving dividends for them. He's been playing very well from the moment he got traded to the Steelers. In fact, I've got him as their MVP. He's the MVP of the defense. He is playing very well. He's causing fumbles. He's catching interceptions. He's scoring touchdowns for the team. Man, he is playing phenomenal football. I am very happy that the Steelers got him. He's been a great boost to the team. So he's playing well. TJ Watt is doing his thing. He's gonna have a few sacks on Baker Mayfield. No doubt about that. I don't think they have an answer for him. And then Hayward on the interior, he's gonna cause fits as well. He's gonna disrupt the middle of the, uh, the Cleveland Browns offensive line. They don't have an answer for him. So the defense will play well. The offense will score enough for them to win. The special teams will control the field position. And the Steelers are just gonna win. They, they know what they've got to do. They know that they got to beat the Browns and other teams that are ahead of them to make the playoffs, and they will. And I'm proud of the Steelers. Despite being shorthanded and on demand, they are finding ways to win. And a lot of the credit has to go to Mike Tomlin. I really respect this guy. He always has his team ready to win. And we will see a great example of that on Thursday when they play against the Browns and when they beat them 20 to 17. So the Steelers, like I said, will beat them. They make it to the playoffs. And they're going to cause noise in the postseason. I don't think any team is going to want to play them. Because they got the great offensive line. They can run the ball. They, they can control the clock. And on defense, they can stifle offenses. They cause fits. Because they have guys who can sack the quarterback. And they've got a great secondary. With Hayden and Minka Fitzpatrick back there, it's tough. So it'll beat the Browns Thursday night and they'll keep on winning and they're gonna have a great season. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Just press the subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I'd greatly appreciate it. And plus, you wouldn't miss out on any content that I post in the future by subscribing. 
So you definitely should do that. And also do me one last favor too. If you gained any value from this video, please press the like button. That would greatly help me out as well. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.